What a beautiful day here in Kakadu, Beninj and Mungi country in the Northern Territory. Here, we can learn about asking for consent and how consent can change. You can ask for consent in lots of different ways, depending on the situation. Remember, what's most important is that we need to respect the other person. We need to learn how to read the other person's reply. This can be with their words or with their body. We can use the word body language to help us understand this. Body language is when you say something with your body, not with your words. Let's take a look at what Jandamara and Amy are doing. See if you can spot Jandamara not giving consent with his body language and words. This walking has made me hungry. Time for a snack. Mmm, my favourite. Can I have some? Uh, I don't know. Did you see what happened here? Amy didn't listen to Jandy's response and just grabbed his food. His body language showed that he was unhappy about it. His body was tense and he looked away. He also looked sad. He definitely didn't give a clear and enthusiastic yes about sharing it with Amy. Hey Amy, give them back. Sometimes people don't actually say no. They might say, I'm not sure, maybe, shake their head or shrug their shoulders. The best thing you can do is read this as a no. Give them space and don't pressure them into doing something they don't want to do. Sometimes you have to say no louder and stronger for someone to hear it. Amy, no! Can you please give it back now? Sorry, I was just trying it. I didn't want you to take it. Then you didn't listen when I asked you to stop. Amy should have realised when he said, I don't know, that he was actually trying to say no or wasn't sure. She also should have seen his body language was saying no too. He was looking away and didn't look very happy. Learning how to ask for consent Hearing their words and understanding their body language is really important. Let's get on the road and learn some more.